immediately started making a list of things that needed to be done. Oh my gosh, Warner's is closing. Let the cleaning commence, but let's go see what's in here <laughs> in my boutique. Maybe your house does look like this, but in that case, please invite me over. This is coming with me. Oh my God, look at that. house well the first night I you know if I stay here I kind of just stay alone with Kinsley and the whole point of coming back was to hang out with my mom so I was like well it's kind of weird to go back to the cottage you know before dark and then just sit there and watch TV or oh well I have to call about the internet because the internet is acting funny this place is so pretty you guys it's like so pretty <laughs> just like everything that we've done but not gonna lie it Walking in here, even when I landed that first day, it was an immediate overwhelm. Immediately started making a list of things that needed to be done. And that I think is where the cottage just got overwhelming because I'm, someone commented and said it right. It's like, I took on a renovation solo. And I knew that this is so much fun, truly. But I did it so much for so long i mean we're talking two and a half years constantly that's all i did that it just you know when it's just like too much of a thing it's just too much you know I, I feel like i got in that mindset and i was just like oh my gosh i have to do something different i just have to step away because i wasn't loving the work anymore i wasn't loving um what i was creating but stepping back from it and then coming back into it it's like i do love what i created and still can create and this is a project that will always be just something that i work on and it, that was the plan but i think just the pandemic just like kept me in that phase you know there was nothing else to do like i needed a project to pour myself into so that I could get through that stage too, that, that period of time, 2020, 2021, 2022 was rough, you know? So now 2023, that life and the world started going back to normal. It was harder and harder to um, be in this 100% all the time, solo. Not that I want help. No, 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 don't get me wrong. I do not want help. Like I love doing these projects on my own. I don't want someone, I don't want to hire people. I don't want uh, more people here helping me. I just, I need space and time to do it in my, at my own pace, do you know what I mean? So that's where we're at. Welcome back. I, uh, while Kinsley's out of her appointment, I'm just going to assess. You know, I have um, a vlog that I need to edit and I'm gonna call the internet people to get the internet back up and running. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> so I called the internet people, right? And you know how if you ever call like internet or TV or whatever, they're always like, let's unplug it for this long and you know, reboot it. Well, I did all of that before. So I got on the phone and I was like, he's like, how can I help you? I was like, my internet's not working. I unplugged it for two minutes. I plugged it back in. I tested everything. I tested the outlets. It's all fine. He made me go outside. It's so hot. Maybe I'll outside to like reboot something. It was fine. I don't. I don't know. And he was like, "I'm gonna have to escalate this and send someone out." And I was like, "No!" Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, "You? No!" And I'm staring at the light, and it turned green down there. It sensed my anger. I was like, "I just not having internet literally like aggravates me to no end." And this is the only internet service you can really get out here. I think we're back in business, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, baby. I talked to my neighbor and she said that um, we're under water restriction. Well, we haven't been here. So we're under water restriction. And my dad said, yeah, the next thing to go like is going to be car washes and things like we're just in a drought. I'm going to uh, work on my video. Just get it live now that I have internet, which is great. And um, I wanna go through my, I wanna clean and go through my things. Okay, I just got my computer work done. Let the cleaning commence. Kinsley should take a couple of hours to be finished, I think. We got a little bit. 
I have these like reusable paper, they're kind of like paper towels that you can use over and over and over again. I like to clean with these, um, especially if I have a lot to do instead of using so many paper towels. It's not dirty, it's just like, you know, closed up, dusty. I love these canisters. Look who's back and who's a very pretty girl. You look so cute, honey, with your haircut. Oh, she's back just in time for me to start vacuum cleaning. Oh, I should have done that while she was still there. I just wanted you to come back home. You look so cute. So good like it's the dust is off you know we've gotten the the cobwebs <laughs> kind of thing off the kitchen looks great uh too i forgot how beautiful the sunlight is in this house you know it's just like beaming in if you guys saw a couple of videos of vlogs ago um i got some curtains i did order finally order them and bit the bullet and ordered them for la so i want to see the quality and see if i really like them because these are going to need i'm going to need even taller curtains for here so i want to make sure that it's going to be um a good you know a good thing to order uh it is kinsley's dinner time kinsley you hungry she'll lick her lips if she's hungry she already did are you hungry? <laughs> they do it every time. A big thank you to the Farmer Stock for sponsoring this vlog. If you have been following for any amount of time, Kinsley is my pride and joy. My little puppy dog. She has been eating the farmer's dog since she was almost a year old. We had a really hard time trying to get her on a healthy food diet. It took us a minute to find food that she really enjoyed that was also good for her. And that's when we started um, getting her the farmer's dog. And it's fresh food that's delivered straight to your door in these pre-portioned packets. So this is specific for her weight and size. So once it's defrosted, I just open the package and give her a fourth of this. Just squeeze it out and it really is real food that you can see, you can smell. She's staring at me. What? What do you think I have? <laughs> She's like ready. This is of course Kinsley's portion, but it will vary based on your dog's um, size and weight. Um, so every, every dog will be different. Kinsley, are you hungry? I see you licking your lips. <laughs> Come on, you can eat it over here. She loves it. She's, she doesn't want me to stare at her though. Every yearly checkup that she has, she always gets a fantastic bill of health. She is at her perfect weight. They never say, oh, she needs to lose weight or gain weight. I know that she's getting exactly what she needs, whether that's the nutrients and the amount of food. And I never have to think about it. I don't have to remember, oh, I have to go to the grocery store or a pet place to get Kinsley's food that I don't even know what's in that food. You know, I can see this food, I know, by their reputation and I know from my own experience that this is really, really good for her long-term health. So although it is more expensive than your regular dog food that you can get in bags that they're little brown pellets from the grocery store, it was totally worth it for us to invest in her long-term health and she eats every meal. So we obviously highly recommend the farmer's dog and if you wanna try it out for your pet, I'm gonna leave a link in my description box so that you can just click and go straight to their website. I have a special offer for you guys as well.
So now that the house is clean and all my work for today is done, let's go see what's in here <laughs> in my boutique that would work better in LA versus the cottage. Sorry, I'm also, um, if you can hear the dryer, it's going to, we're closer to the laundry room. So they're kind of taking on a mind of their own and a style of their own. Both my style, both rooted in vintage and, you know, repurposing secondhand the cottage leans more antique uh the style of the house mixed with the age of the house um mixed with just the area has influenced this cottage more to go a little more antique how i had described the la house was that it was basically the cottage's younger better dressed sister so everything about her is a little turned up She's a little bit more, has a more of a French provincial feel. That's the style that we're going with. But all of her details are a little more polished, a little more put together. Here, I don't really care if things have like blemishes or they're not perfect, but in LA, I kind of do. Like sometimes I, I pay more attention to how perfect the details are. Like this kind of needs to come to LA, I feel like. I feel like she is going to be perfect on the bookshelves. And I already have one on the bookshelves here. He would actually be so cool in the LA house, but I feel like he fits in both. I really like him. He's just, he's so striking. So I feel like taking her would be a definite yes. I'm gonna start putting things that we're gonna bring over here with this pretty sunlight that's coming in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think in terms of art, I'm okay not bringing that to California because I actually do have good luck finding art in California um, in the style that I like and I have quite a bit once my mom actually got this one for me at an estate sale it's so pretty but I feel like I'm seriously lacking in the art department here um, so I'm gonna keep the art here I have found a few pieces recently like these two I want to put in the living room and I still have Rembrandt that's gonna go in the living room and this one, I just want it for the frame. This has like a like a tropical kind of like bird. I also have these. These are actually Christmas plates that go with the dishes that I already brought to California. I just thought they were so pretty. They go perfectly with them. Uh, so I was gonna try and bring those this trip for sure. I don't think I need, actually, what about this? Okay, I'm gonna put in the area. Uh, in the living room where I did the kind of like wood board and batten kind of detail um, One of you guys actually had a great idea because I didn't want to put more art in that space There was already the gallery wall there We had the piece over the fireplace and then the pieces over the entryway table and I was like I kind of just like it calm But maybe I'll put eventually something in front of it What about doing this candle holder there? Is it too small? Is it too small or could it be cool? I'll put it in the picture. No on the art. No, I don't feel like lanterns. See, I feel like lanterns are more the cottage than the LA house. I feel like lanterns don't really work. I have some really pretty lanterns here actually. Um, candlesticks are always a good idea, but I actually have quite a bit of candle holders there already. Um, this is like a picture light. I don't need that. It's a pretty little box. That's like good for like a vanity. No, birds. I have a lot of birds here. Maybe I should bring these birds. I love these. I feel like maybe this. I have three, like three sets of birds here. So it's like, they could totally come. These I got at Canton, but I have two of them. I kind of need to clean them up. That's just candle wax. Um, but I don't know if that is the vibe. Over here is more of my like larger brass items and dishes, you know, like all kitchen things. Copper, ooh, just got copper, 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 copper. I mean, copper's beautiful. Um, I'm just like, we haven't renovated the kitchen yet, so I don't need to bring that kind of stuff right now. This is all like dishes for here. I've got my dishes for there. These are pretty, those are so pretty. Those look like kind of like both places. They could go either way. Maybe we'll take these. <laughs> these might go. Okay, books are way too heavy to bring. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. That's that would be insane. Um, all of this like ceramic and things I like here. I have a, a specific place that I want to do them um, above the coffee bar. 
And I've got some wooden spoons, more copper, my Pyrex bowls that we'll use here for mixing things. Also, so much hardware that I found here. Like, I would love to use these. There's one thing that I wanna go outside to look for, and it's a butter dish. Uh, the butter dish has been on my mind to bring back because we just have our butter like wrapped in foil and stuff. We don't have a butter dish. And I saw one at a thrift store and I was like, I think I have one that's way prettier than this. And I met one of you guys and you actually gave it to me as a gift. And I'm like, I've, it's been on my mind. I'm like, I just want to use it. I don't know where it could be because I know I packed it kind of up, but let me change my shoes and let's go outside. Stay stay, and I'll be right back. Everything's locked up. So I'm going to have to unlock all the unlock the storage units i don't know where it could be God, everything is so dead you guys like the ground is cracking everything's dead look at this oh it's so sad okay i got the shed open romeo and i actually organized somewhat this is somewhat organized oh, oh my gosh these are the cutest things This is coming with me. Oh my god. It's like going shopping and <laughs> like in my own stuff. Oh, that is so cute. That's that is so cute. These are precious. Look at this. This little lavender. Like for espresso. I love this. I'm gonna bring these. See, I've got some more frames here um, that we're gonna use in the house in some way. Our Christmas tree is here. And then this is all Christmas decorations. That's what we kind of put into here. Ugh, I can't find it. I have like 10 like containers, like storage containers um, that are all packed of things. And I'd have to go through every single one of them. Just kind of wrapping this stuff really well and seeing where it will fit best. If it will fit in my carry-on, like the plates and things, like I've already got one set of plates in my carry-on. I know that I'm going to take more care and I'm reusing the bubble wrap I brought here for my mom stuff. We'll just keep reusing it. Putting bubble wrap in between each one and then wrap them all together. It's going in my carry-on. See how weirdly attached I get to things? I'm like, yes, you. How much did I pay for you? Eight dollars. That is so cute. You can't tell me that's not cute. That's cute. These mugs are so pretty. That's so cute. We'll see if we take these two. I'll just leave them all here for now. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. <sighs> I'm just getting ready for the day. We're actually going to Fredericksburg today uh, to eat at Warner's. Did you think that I could come to Texas and not go to Warner's? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> My mom's exact words were, yeah. Can we go eat? And also, will we have time to walk through the French experience? That's what she said to me. Uh, so the, by French experience, she means the decor part, the, the antique store that's kind of next to the restaurant. You know, all of these amazing creators that I follow on social media or YouTube or whatever, I was like looking at how long it took them. I'm like, am I crazy? Like, should I be moving faster than I already am? Should I not be feeling this way? You know, you start to doubt your own feelings. And so I went, and I'm like, all of my favorite creators and all of the people that even just I follow along that I know of have spent five plus years on their renovation when they're doing it themselves, you know? So where with a crew of people, with all these people coming and going and all of these different tradesmen, a house could take, let's say roughly a year to complete. And that's before you decorate. I'm going to stop thinking about it as like, oh my gosh, I need, it should have been done already. And no, this is supposed to be fun. We bought this house so that I would have a passion project to learn new skills and to do things. And if it takes five years, that's what it's, and we're going to have fun along the way. That's just what it's going to take. Life just happens, you know, behind the scenes and you just have other things that are going on and I can't, um, you know, just right now, I just can't dedicate 100% of my time to the cottage. Okay, I'm ready. We are off. I'm gonna take Kinsley to play with her puppy friends. You need to play with your puppy friends. Oh my gosh, Warner 
Paris is oh, closing. Close your eyes. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. We are not eating at Warner's. Yes. Oh my god. The tennis has I'm a meltdown. I'm so sad. Well, at least they're not closing permanently. They're just on yeah. the move. That's what it but says. I love this location. Oh, this green. I always love these. I think they're so pretty. I need these for the kitchen. I've looked at them like five times. Because I'm going to paint my cat kitchen canvas that aubergine color. I feel like it would be so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it like injected. Oh my god, they're adorable. What do you Okay, so update on Warner's. I've been working on a new location and it should be ready like next week or so uh, down the street. So the new restaurant's coming in there, which is actually really nice that there's a new restaurant coming. <laughs> like you have to be careful in these like very aesthetically pleasing stores because sometimes you can fall in love with something in the store because the atmosphere kind of like boosts its value in your eyes right mom yeah you have to take it out of the store and picture it in like your picture price. it in your house because like some things in here are, are like pretty worn and pretty broken you know but like putting they've a broken chandelier on yeah they've got some years but like Putting that in your house, it's not gonna train you. Know, the whole atmosphere isn't, might not be there. Maybe your house does look like this. In that case, please invite me over. <laughs> like if your house looks like this, are you going, are you kidding? But like, look how cute all of these like apothecary kind of like um, medicine cabinets look, they're cute. See like, I love <laughs> this plate, but look how broken. But, like, of course I love it. It's like cornflower with flowers. Of course I love it, but like, do I need that? No. If you guys remember, I actually originally found the couch for the cottage that I loved here. Like, loved it. I'll actually show you the chairs and the, I think the couch is actually still here too. I found the duplicate version of it um, from Universal Furniture? Universal Furniture? at vaudeville and it was so good better than i remember even so it was a it was a good thing that warner's was closed we went somewhere we hadn't been in a while um so it was really good so i got a few things for the kitchen in california i bought this piece of art it's very old it's just like even my mom looked at it and she was like oh i mean the crackle is just what the age does to it it's beautiful it did come on a container from france that's how they get all of their stuff at least that's what they say and i believe it because it's like you can't find any of these things here and that's what they're, that's what that store is kind of known for but isn't it gorgeous look at that oh i'm obsessed so imagine when we paint the cabinets like a deep like a deep black aubergine color. I feel like that is going to be so pretty. I hope, and I don't know if it will, but I hope it fits in my carry-on so I don't have to check it, but we'll see. We'll see how, how this goes. Um, and I also got this. I've looked at this piece of fabric, this linen kind of like napkin for the kitchen. Every time I've gone in there, 
every time. And I don't know, like, I, I don't think it really goes in here. Like this wasn't the vibe for this, um, but in California, yes. I've just got the kitchen on my mind. This is literally just a piece of fabric, but look, it's got something happening. It's definitely got something happening. And I've just been bringing in color more often, um, but in the right way. You know, I've been introducing color in a lot of ways, but keeping everything like the foundation portions of the house really neutral and like deep moody or neutral. Um, but adding in things like this makes me really happy. And also these were stunning. Uh, my mom picked this up immediately when we walked in. I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm not a huge fan of glass candlesticks. I, and I recently got a set of Waterford candle holders, candlesticks from the thrift store just because they were like too good of a price to pass up. But when the glass is injected with color and it looks like this, I couldn't help myself. This one was $20. Not bad. I mean, that's got some really pretty detail on it. I got that and I got the um, small version of this one with the round bottom. Isn't that pretty? So you can kind of see the direction that our kitchen in California is taken until we renovate or maybe after we renovate, you know, like this was just like too good. I kept staring at it. I just like had to have it. We are bringing these pieces back with us and we'll wrap these back up so that they stay protected. 